Alright guys, it is a cool, cloudy autumn day here in the end times, here in the washed out desert of southern New Mexico and uh, I'm supposed to be out earning some money today but I can't get to my job site in the drought plagued American Southwest desert because a goddamn flash flood has taken the road out here on this lovely Saturday morning, November 5th, 2016. So since I have no gainful employment, thanks to uh, Mother Nature working her magic in the desert, I'm going to do what I haven't done in quite a while, which is bring you my clueless moron roundup rant. <clears throat> where I simply go on Yahoo News to find more evidence that this planet's collective IQ is heading directly down the toilet. And guys, I, <clears throat> I was so determined that I was not, I was not going to mention this goddamn uh, dog and pony show coming to, well, we'll see if it's coming to a merciful close on Tuesday or not, the, the contest between Tweedledum and Tweedledee leading us into the apocalypse. But <clears throat> buried in all these stories was this uh, weird little headline, <clears throat> which I could not ignore in a clueless moron roundup ramp. Trump unleashes attack ad tying Clinton to Wiener. Now, you know, this headline begs all kinds of questions. Who exactly tied Hillary Clinton to a Wiener? More importantly, whose Wiener did Trump tie Hillary too. I hope it was Bill's wiener. Uh, but anyway, as it says right here, it's, you know, it says seeking to keep the pressure on Hillary Clinton. Well, it seems like to me, this is just speaking from the man, man's point of view, I think the pressure is more on the wiener than on Hillary Clinton. The last thing on this planet that I want to do with my wiener is tie it to Hillary or have or have somebody from the Donald Trump campaign tie Hillary Clinton to my wiener. But anyway, uh, good luck on that one. Moving along from the dog and pony show, of course, uh, if anybody deserves the clueless fucking moron of the week award, it would be the uh, prosecution. Where is my bullshit detector button? The, the prosecutor in the Bundy trial up there in Oregon. Good God Almighty. You know, for, for any goddamn prosecuting attorney to lose that trial, from those goddamn right-wing, armed, thug terrorists. We have, we have a bunch of these fucking rednecks uh, loaded down with guns uh, taking over a, a national wildlife refuge for 41 days and the prosecution in the case coming up uh, empty-handed, many, many thousands of stories on, on, on this goddamn miscarriage of justice. Here is the about Oregon jurors blame verdict on Fed's weak case. Yes, the shocking acquittal just in this one. Uh, this is quoting Defenders of Wildlife President Jamie Clark. Quote, 
by exonerating the leaders of this illegal occupation of federal property, the jury's misguided verdict will encourage further attacks by lawless individuals on our wildlife refuges, national forests and national parks, and the dedicated federal employees that manage them for the benefit of all Americans. And speaking of illegal occupations of our public lands by lawless individuals, we have this story uh, pretty much completely buried. Uh, dug this one up out of EcoWatch. You know, and, and good for Yahoo News uh, sending us stories from EcoWatch. This is Feds to Auction Off Ohio's Only National Forest to Fracking. Following its final environmental assessment and a finding of no significant impact, the Bureau of Livestock and Mining, the BLM, has decided now to offer 40,000 acres of the Wayne National Forest, Ohio's only national forest, up for fracking. The BLM is planning an online auction on December 13th to lease the first 16,000 acres of the National Forest with an opening bid of $2 per acre. $2 per acre. And I thought these uh, grazing fees were a fucking joke. Yes, yeah, so that's what's going on on our public lands up there in, uh, in Ohio, moving a little bit west to North Dakota. Good God, how many hundreds of stories about this Dakota Access Pipeline. Uh, that, that bullshit going down uh, out there on that pipeline. So this is my Humpty Dumpty Tribe Hero Gasland Director Josh Fox went out there to see what he could dig up. Josh Fox, quote, I have never seen anything like this. Police violently cracked down on a peaceful protest led by the Standing Rock Sioux against the Dakota Access Pipeline Wednesday in Cannonball, North Dakota, firing mace, pepper spray, and rubber bullets at point-blank range at water protectors instead of protesters it's the protectors standing and praying harmlessly in the water there were many eyewitnesses to the event this is uh, Josh Fox writing this story including myself and Aaron Schrode a 25 year old journalist who recently became the youngest person to run for Congress in California, Aaron was shot yesterday by police at point blank range with rubber bullets uh, as he was giving an interview. Yes, uh, you can imagine what these photos, there's all sorts of videos about what it looks like when uh, Indians going up against planet eaters. It looks like uh, it's looked for the past 500 years. What is going on with Samsung Corporation? You know these guys, how many of those goddamn exploding iPhones did they have to recall? Well, poor Samsung. This week, Samsung recalls 
million washing machines in U.S. over injury uh, risk. Samsung Electronics already reeling from a global recall of its Note 7 smartphones said it would recall about 2.8 million top-loading washing machines in the U.S. following reports of injuries. The top of the washing machine can unexpectedly detach from the chassis during use, posing a risk of injury from impact, I bet. Okay, from those poor people at Samsung, let's look at the various wildlife stories trickling in, many versions of this. This is the New York Times weighing in on this. Petals, the walking bear killed by a hunter in New Jersey. This, uh, I think I've mentioned Petals. He's this bear, this internet sensation, this bear who's been walking around on two legs. Uh, Petals the bear. Many, many uh, videos of this beloved bear. Take it away, New York Times. Petals, a beloved American black bear who walked upright and strolled around the suburbs of New Jersey like a Hanna-Barbera cartoon come to life, is believed to have been killed by a hunter last week. His age was not known. Yeah. <clears throat> so, when it's pretty much been, uh, they're still reporting this as a rumor, but it's pretty much, you know, been determined 100% by now. It appears that local celebrity status was not enough to save Petals the Bear, Petals the Bear during the state's five-day hunting season for black bears, which began on Monday and allowed hunters to kill bears with bow and arrows. Petals was one of 487 bears killed by hunters in New Jersey last week. It, is, it was unknown whether Petals was walking upright when taken out by a bow and arrow. From Petals the walking bear to some sea turtle. Uh, this is from PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. <coughs> With their story, these guys are complete idiots. We're going to go from New Jersey to Queensland, Australia. Two men who surfed on top of a beached sea turtle in Queensland, Australia are this week's biggest idiots. Authorities are now investigating the photo of their cruel stunt and they could face a hefty fine in addition to the wrath of the internet. The photo uh, in which the men are seen drinking and standing on top of the sea turtle who would come up on the uh, beach to lay eggs was reported, was posted to Facebook by 26-year-old clueless Fucking moron, Ricky Rogers, with a caption that read, surfed a, surfed a tortoise on the weekend. Gnarly, dude. Yep, 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 yep. From the clueless moron selfie department to the attack squirrels. Many versions of this story. Squirrel 
that attacked residents and staffer at retirement community still at large. Somewhere out there is a very angry squirrel, a squirrel that entered a senior living community in Florida on Thursday afternoon, uh, caused some trouble there, and the disturbance was so bad that someone called 911 for assistance. Yes. Um, let's see. Three people sent to the hospital and treated for bites and scratches. The squirrel was thrown out the door and remains at large. Animal control was alerted and they set traps outside the center should the attack squirrel decide to return. There we go. From squirrels to, is this dogs? Many versions of this one. Woman chained up like a dog inside storage container. A woman who had been reported missing along with her boyfriend in August was found chained up like a dog inside a storage container in South Car in Spartanburg County, South Carolina. Uh, she was found locked in the 30 by 15 foot storage container with a chain around her neck. Yes, I guess they're looking, or did they get this fucker? Charles Carver, her 32 year old boyfriend. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Well, no, he is just, I don't know, maybe he's not the, uh, the suspect. Yeah, right. Uh, anyway, no, now there, anyway, uh, oh, no, it's, I guess they haven't found the boyfriend. Todd Christopher Colep has been arrested in connection with the incident. Records indicate Colehep is a licensed real estate agent. A licensed real estate agent uh, locking up people inside storage containers. Okay, what's going on in the gas-sucking car news this week? Let's start out in sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, or is this Geneva, Switzerland? Geneva seizes 11 luxury cars from the son of Equatorial Guinea's president. Geneva authorities have confiscated 11 uh, luxury vehicles and sports cars belonging to the son of Equatorial Guinea's president as part of of its investigation into alleged corruption. Do you think so? Uh, I guess uh, they were worth eight million dollars, including one Bugatti, va one Bugatti sports car valued at 2.2 million dollars. Yes, uh, I guess the president of Equatorial Guinea is facing trial for alleged misspending of public funds. Do you think so? But right here in our own country, we have this headline, this 1,000 horsepower Ford Mustang will melt your face off. So there you go. Never know it. No doubt it will. 
I love this story. I can make a whole rant about this one. It's time to reconsider buying a pickup truck. Of course, I do own a pickup truck. Uh, poking fun at what they call Prius Man. Is it this Toyota Prius? You know, uh, get get real as it's saying. Um, welcome to the real world, Mr. Prius Man. As Isaac Newton once said, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction, as in, you need to carry more stuff. So, you need to get a larger vehicle. And then, uh, right here, Driver Magazine, summing up the state of the planet. The sacrifice for size is consumption. The sacrifice for size is consumption. Prius man is not alone in his misguided hope that something designed to carry heavy things could be as economical to use as a small vehicle. And you can imagine, uh, next to this news story are all of these ads to buy these giant goddamn pickups and SUVs. Alright, two more quick ones and then I gotta get out of here. And this, this one uh, it, it is bullshit. Uh, from this casino woman shown $43 million jackpot receives $2.25. So this is uh, the, the machine that she was playing uh, in this casino in New York uh, claimed, it says, printing cash ticket worth $42,949,642. So she took a selfie next to the screen to celebrate but when she went to collect her $43 million, the casino told her it was all a big mistake and she was in fact owed $2.25. There you go. And she has now hired an attorney to get her $43 million. And I do wish the clueless moron luck. But we are going to wrap up this rant with Jennifer Lopez's $27 million ass. As Jennifer Lopez posts bootylicious selfie reminiscent of famous Kim Kardashian pick. Jennifer Lopez is used to turning heads coming and going. We have the beauty and her big booty to thank for making voluptuous bodies part of our pop culture dialogue. Mm -hmm. And because she really hasn't broken stride and has recently spoken out about the important the importance of loving oneself and your big ass her latest Instagram post showing off that famous behind which is insured for 27 million dollars makes total sense. The photo of her big ass booty which quickly received over one 
million lights was reminiscent of the photo that Kim Kardashian posted in 2013 showing off her post-baby body. Yes. Uh, anyway, I, I can't even stomach showing you this photo of Jennifer Lopez's tw $27 million ass with the 1 million likes on Twitter because it would truly make you nauseous. But I've got to wrap up this week's uh, Clueless Moron Roundup rant. And since I have no job to go to, I think we're heading to go watch <clears throat> the Sandhill Cranes nesting along the uh, overwintering down here. <clears throat> so uh, I will bring you a video of the Sandhill Cranes for this week's Clueless Moron Roundup rant. Smoke him if you got him. This planet's IQ is heading directly down the toilet, <clears throat> and that will be proven on Tuesday as we decide whether Tweedledum or Tweedledee will lead us into the apocalypse. Either way, we are so fucked. Bye, guys.